This lesson deals with supplemental problem 3.8. You can find this problem in the course ebook in the chapter 3 supplemental problems on page 11. Given this circuit, could you use source transformations to solve for V out? What we're going to be doing is reducing this to a one loop circuit to be able to solve for V out with just one equation. Since we're solving for V out on the right hand side, let's start at the left hand side and work our way across, gobbling up elements and reducing the complexity of the circuit. So here we've got a voltage source in series with a resistance. Let's source transform that. That'll be a current source in parallel with this resistance in parallel with these two nodes. The current source is one volt divided by one K. So one divided by one K is one milliamp. The arrow is going to point towards where the plus sign was. So two resistors would be product over the sum. 2K squared divided by 3K would give me two thirds K. Now I have these two current sources in parallel. What I could do is add them if they're pointing in the same direction. You could think of this as a minus one milliamp current source in this direction. The current to be entering though with these two current sources is going to be three milliamps plus a minus one milliamp or just two milliamps pointing in this direction. Now I could do a source transformation with these two, converting them into a voltage source and a series resistance. Take the product of these two, the K and the milli cancel, so I get four divided by three volts. The arrowhead's pointing down, so the plus sign will be over here. And then we'll have a series resistor of two thirds K. Now I have a one loop circuit. And if I solve for the current in this circuit, I can then solve for the voltage across here. Show the current in this direction because here's where the plus sign is. So current's gonna be coming out of that as the only source of power and back through this way. So let's go around the loop. The rise in voltage is four thirds. The drop is gonna be I times four K i times 3k, and then i times 2 thirds k. Pull out the i, have a common 3 here, so I'd have 12 divided by 3, 9 divided by 3, and then 2 divided by 3. And that adds up to 23 divided by 3. And now I can solve for i. The 3's cancel. I'll be taking 4 and dividing it by 23k, and that's 174 microamps. The voltage across here would be the current times the resistance, but the current would be in the opposite direction to create a drop from plus to minus this way. So it's gonna be a minus I times 4K. We get a minus 696 millivolts. And this is supplemental problem 3.8.